Are you ready to increase your emotional intelligence by eliminating shame? Then stay tuned. Hey friend, welcome back to another Mind Right Monday. I'm your host, Bonnie Kelly, your emotional intelligence speaker, author, and coach here to help you get out of your way and on with your life. Today, we are talking about how to increase our emotional intelligence by eliminating shame. So today I'm gonna to share three tips on how you can overcome shame. But before we dive into that, I need to talk about this emotion just a little bit. Did you know that shame is one of the most destructive emotions that you can harbor in your mind and body? In fact, if you read any research done by David Hawkins or Dr. Diamond, and there's a really great book out there called Power Versus Force. And he talks about the different emotions that we experience and the amount of energy that it either drains or depletes or it builds us up with. And when we're experiencing shame and followed by guilt, these are the two most destructive emotions that you can actually harbor in your body. They're going to be destructive to your self-worth, to your self-esteem, to your motivation, to your overall well-being and life fulfillment. So this is one of those emotions that we need to learn how to shift. I have to point out that it is a normal emotion. It's in fact a natural emotion to feel ashamed when we do something that's out of alignment with our core values. So it's a normal emotion, but it's an emotion that we don't wanna harbor. And when I say harbor, it means that we store it in our heart and mind for long periods of time. We want to recognize when shame is present and be able to overcome it, to be able to use it as a guide. That's truly the definition of being emotionally intelligent. All right, so let's dive into my first tip this week, which is start by untangling what you are feeling. The first step into eliminating or overcoming shame is to understand why you feel it in the first place. We need to untangle this emotion to figure out what place that it is serving in your life because the truth is it's serving some kind of place. It could be just a warning to let you know that you're out of alignment. It could be just uh, a feeling that was placed upon us from other people who are shaming us into thinking or feeling a certain way. But we have to untangle, why do you feel this way? Where did this emotion come from and what is keeping it stuck? If we don't understand what keeps it trapped, because there's some people that feel I deserve to feel ashamed of myself. Well, maybe you do for a minute. Maybe you did something that hurt someone else. But punishing yourselves for months and years and decades doesn't do anybody any good. We have to be willing to untangle this so we can release it, so we can shift into forgiveness and we can grow and evolve as a result of it. Nobody deserves to be punished for the rest of their life. Everybody deserves forgiveness. And so when we can begin to start to say, wait a minute, how is this trapped? How is this stuck in my heart and mind? And we can unravel that and unpackage that in a way that is gonna allow us to just move beyond it it's a powerful, powerful gift you can give yourself. So let me end this section off by a quote by Gretchen Rubin who said, negative emotions like loneliness, envy, and guilt have an important role to play in a, in a happy life. They're big flashing signs that something needs to change. This is so important to recognize that your emotions are your guides and when we can start to use them to navigate our behavior versus control it, that's really what it means to be emotionally intelligent. All right, this leads me to my second tip this week, which is separate your mistakes from your identity. Oh my gosh, just because you make a mistake does not make you a mistake. If we wanna overcome shame, we have to start recognizing that mistakes are an inevitable part of life. They are just going to happen. And when we can begin to separate that your mistakes, your failures, your pitfalls, equal you being a failure, you sucking, that you not being enough, that you being unworthy, oh, are we gonna feel so much relief? We have to recognize that these, are, these obstacles are just opportunities for us to grow. That mistakes are an inevitable part of life and we want to embrace them with more grace and understanding. When we can start to embrace that your mistakes are leading you to something greater, and as long as you consciously choose to learn and to grow from them, then you are going to be on a path to success. All right, so let me end this section off by a quote from the Dalai Lama who said, 
Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Without them, humanity cannot survive. I love this, is that you have to give yourself grace and compassion and love and acceptance. We have to get out of this place of using our mistakes as weapons to abuse and to shame and to feel bad about who we are. We want to use them to learn and to grow, to not repeat those mistakes and to be better versions of ourselves in every interaction that we come across. But the only way you can do that is if you stop abusing yourself and start focusing on how you can be better as a result of making this mistake. So separate your identity from the mistakes that you've made. All right, so this leads me to my third and final tip this week, which is forgive yourself. Forgiveness is the gift that keeps on giving. In fact, Tony Robbins says that forgiveness is a gift you give yourself and he could not be more accurate. It is important for you to have a regular practice of forgiving yourself for being human, for making mistakes, and for hurting other people. Unfortunately, it's a part of just life and who we are. And when we can begin to just overcome that, to forgive ourselves on a regular basis, to let go of these trapped emotions, to give ourselves grace and a little bit of self-compassion, then you're gonna feel a lot better. If you need help learning how to forgive, then you need to check out some of our other forgiveness videos. If you really wanna to learn to forgive, then you can check out my uh, mindfoodacademy.com slash forgive. And you can check out my six module course on forgiveness that is designed to help you build a healthy forgiveness practice. All right, so let me end this section off by a quote by the, the great Bruce Lee who says, mistakes are always forgivable if one has the courage to admit them we have to be willing to let go of our ego and to step into embracing that you're going to make mistakes and when we can forgive ourselves for those you're going to live a lot happier and more fulfilling life so hopefully this week's video has helped you overcome your shame uh, remember that each and every week we bring personal development videos directly to your inbox if you want to stay tuned, then you need to subscribe to this YouTube channel. That is the only way that you're going to stay on top of everything we bring forth to you each and every single week. If you're ready to start your personal development journey right now, then you got to check out the mindfoodacademy.com slash forgive. There's a six module course there that it talks the in depth about forgiveness, expectations and boundaries. It is super powerful. And that link's gonna give you a special that you can only find directly here from me right now. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. You feel free to comment below. And until next week, we'll see you then. Did you enjoy this video? I sure hope so. As always, they're brought to you from viewers just like you. If you have a personal development question or just something you're struggling with and you need some advice or tips or tools, email me at getinspired at bonniekelly.me. We are here for you every step of the way on your personal development journey. Don't forget to check out our other videos in our featured list and we'll look forward to seeing you next week.